Greetings, my name is Jeffrey Lowell and I'm a second year resident in internal medicine at North Wilhostra Zucker School of Medicine. Today I'll be telling you about the determinants of health after liver transplant to ensure the well-being of the recipient and the longevity of the transplanted liver. After transplant, the allograft liver is protected using immunosuppressants such as tacrolimus and steroids. Just as important though is managing the health complications that can arise as a side effect of these medications. These health complications largely affect the heart and kidneys and should be screened for both before and after transplant. Metabolic syndrome is characterized by a cluster of metabolic abnormalities including regulation of blood pressure, blood sugar, and lipid or triglyceride levels. There is also heightened risk of metabolic syndrome after transplant due to use of immunosuppressant medications, but also due to lifestyle changes and pre-existing health conditions. Despite patients having lower body weight pre-transplant, obesity is common after transplant. Obesity can be intervened on with early weight management programs that include lifestyle changes that may also help regain lost muscle mass or medications such as GLP-1 agonists. Diabetes is another difficult complication of long-term immunosuppression use, and up to 25% of patients develop new-onset diabetes after transplant. Diabetes can be screened for with a hemoglobin A1c every six months, and management typically requires medication. After transplant, changes to cholesterol and triglyceride regulation can be screened for with a fasting lipid profile performed annually. Statin medications are the first-line therapy for lipid regulation. The last component of metabolic syndrome, elevated blood pressure, can also develop after transplant and is treated first with a calcium channel blocker and additional medications as needed for increased control. Inadequate control of all these factors can lead to cardiovascular disease, which is the leading cause of death and disability long-term after transplant. Kidney disease can also develop in this context. There is even further increased risk to the kidney due to the direct toxicity that immunosuppressants can have on the kidney itself. Judicious use of immunosuppressants can minimize this toxicity. More patients with pre-existing kidney disease are receiving transplants, so preservation of remaining kidney function is especially important. Bone health can also be impacted after transplant. Osteoporosis occurs most significantly in the first 6 to 12 months after transplant and should be monitored with a DEXA scan every 2 to 3 years. Bisphosphonates help slow the progression of bone loss, reducing fracture risk. Long-term immunosuppression also increases the risk of new cancers over time, and appropriate screening can help catch new cancers early. Lastly, beyond the previously mentioned complications of chronic immunosuppressant use, the recipient liver itself needs to be protected. Meticulous immunosuppressant use can help prevent antibody and cell-mediated organ rejection, and always remember to prevent the recurrence of the initial disease that led to a need for transplant, such as with hepatitis B testing or alcohol abstinence.